The Messianic era, according to Jewish tradition, is the time when everyone in the world is perfected without faults, flaws, and even sin. Everyone in humanity speaking in the Hebrew language and the world acknowledging that the Jews have been right about God all along. And King Moshe draws his kingdom according to Rambam and his commentary on the scripture of the Hebrew Bible. None of which can occur. This Messianic era said to come. None of it can occur in the real world. It would take the power of God to completely change the natural order of the world and the natural order of humanity itself. <clears throat> with miracles and wonders, which is not supposed to happen in the Messianic era, according to Rambam, the great scholar of the Hebrew Bible and the Talmud of antiquity. Antiquity is from the beginning to 400 common era, and from 400 common era to 1600 is the Middle Ages, also known as the Dark Ages. And from 1600 to today, it's called the Common Era, and many ages occurred within that time. It begins with the Age of Enlightenment, reason, followed through with knowledge, uh, science, medicine, and today, information, which uh, began with the uh, advent of the computer in the late 1960s. And, of course, we have the Internet. And the dawning of the Internet was 1957, when the Russians sent up the first satellite called Sputnik. That was in 1957, the year I was born, as a matter of fact. But that was the dawning of the age of uh, satellites in space and then, of course, the Internet. God has never changed the beliefs and thoughts of any human being, Jews or Gentiles. And yet, in the time when of the Messianic era, everyone is supposed to exalt the Jewish people, speak Hebrew. Now that would be quite a feat for any man to even attempt. <clears throat> and God's never done that in the Hebrew Bible. He uses men to achieve his purpose. Men like Noah, build me an ark. I have a purpose, I need an ark. King David, King Solomon, build me a temple. The exiles of Assyria, Babylon, who returned by a declaration of Cyrus of Persia, who were forgiven of all sins. God says it was for, it's just for me. You've, you've continued to sin. You haven't offered sacrifices to me. But you know what he's really saying there? Contrary to what the Christians say, he's saying no matter what you do, you're mine. And I forgive all of your sins in your exile and your 